Now, listen, y'all know I love Beyonce, but a brother got to keep it real. Now, I say this all the time. I'm not the president or the vice president of the Beehive, but I am like the secretary or the treasurer. If you don't know by now, which you should because it's all over the world, Beyonce dropped her album, and it's called Cowboy Carter. This album features like 30 people, and that's not even an exaggeration. We got Willie Nelson, my girl Dolly Parton. We have Tanner Adele. Britney Spencer, Tierra Kennedy, Raina Roberts. She even had one of the twins, Linda Martell. And if you don't know anything about her, you need to Google her. She was the first black woman to really go mainstream or commercial in country music. She had Shabuzi, Miley Cyrus, and last but not least, Post Malone. Now, I must say, I did have to sit with this album for a little bit. It's not a bad thing. I just wanted to really dive deep into the musicality of the album. Because I really believe some of you guys really zoomed like through the album. Like you listened to it, but you really didn't listen to it. And that was my problem at first. Now, I know y'all going to cancel me. And listen, that's fine. I'm waiting for the day anyway. And yes, I did stretch before this reach. This is the record that's going to get her album of the year. And I know some of y'all going to be like, why? And absolutely yes. Beyonce gave us everything with this album. Not only did she give country. She gave a little gospel, she gave us pop, she gave us a little hip hop, she gave us R&B, and then she had the nerve to give us her mezzo-soprano voice. Like, who told you to go Beethoven on us? Mozart would have been proud. The vision of this album was executed so well, everything was literally intentional, and it was so perfect and so right. And I'll say this as well, can cancel me again. Renaissance has nothing on this album. And maybe it was just me. I feel like I heard dance vibes in there as well. Now, there is a negative, maybe a couple. Number one, the singles that she released ruins the album. But the way that it's incorporated into the album works. I kind of wish that um, she used the singles for like album fillers. I don't think they should have been singles because there are so many other songs better than those. But when you think about the market and try to get all the streams and things like that, I can understand why. But 16 Candles ain't got nothing on the song, yeah, yeah. Texas Hold'em cannot hold a candle to Jolene. Another negative, just one more. Why did you drop this album earlier, Beyonce? I feel like this is more of like your style. And I know it's so used to you being a pop artist, which is cool and all. But your sound, oh my God, I love it. And I feel like she was giving us like soprano, soprano. I'm not talking head voice or falsetto. Because Homegirl was in the rafters on the first song. I said, B, hold, hold on now. Don't, don't give it to us all at once. Because her range, whew, that thing is incredible. Now let's get into some positives. When it comes to background vocals, Beyonce is like one out of the five people that I can name on top of my head that executes well. Like her backgrounds are top tier. Some other names are like Jasmine Sullivan, Brandy, Chris Brown. Jay Moss, and if you don't know who that is, Google them. And of course, the Clark sisters. But the way Beyonce breaks down each and every vocal part is so good. She is a musical genius when it comes to harmonies. And of course, I know what Destiny Child like. She was doing it back then. But the way she has grown in her craft is wild. Now, I know some of you guys may not feel the way that I feel. Because some of you guys kind of just want music you can just shake your booty to. And that's not this right here. Now, there are songs you could definitely dance to, but this is a body of work that should really be appreciated. I don't know. That's my two cents. Did you guys like it? Am I reaching? And if you think that I am, dive into the album. Maybe because I'm a music head and I've been studying it for so long. I don't know. But I did love the album. Maybe not so the first go round, but once I sat with it, I was like, now, B, you on to something. But did y'all like it? Let, let me know. Put it in the comments.